Welcome to the final video installment for the most recent Explore Herpetology research expedition to Naratawak province. This time, it's another long night of searching for snakes deep in primary rainforest with all kinds of amazing encounters, including incredibly rare snakes. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, I have touched down in the forest and uh, we'll be spending the rest of tonight out searching for snakes. It's been a long day of rain. I don't know how that will affect things, but so far things have been pretty good. So I'm optimistic we can turn up something rare tonight or maybe just a lot of snakes, we'll see. I'll take either, but obviously we prefer to find something rare. Maybe we can do both, who knows? But uh, yeah, you can see the mist in the air it's very damp, very humid. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of leech contact too, but without further ado, I'm going to focus on searching and update you when I find stuff. Okay, ignore the dogs. We haven't quite got to the forest yet, but I just found this incredibly, uh, I guess the word is derpy looking Xenophrys aceras. It's a really big one as well, like a really fat, chunky one, but I mean, look at his face. <laughs> I don't know what happened to his snout to make him look like this, but he's got like a fat bottom lip and looks very sad. That is uh, quite cute in its own ridiculous way. Look at this thing. So it's like literal small Nasuta sized. All right, shortly after walking, got the first snake of the night. It's another juvenile Boiga benculuensis. We've only seen juveniles so far this trip. Wait, where's he gone? There. And we've seen several. It's got a nice little green head and some strong patterning on the body but I'm not gonna disturb this guy any further than I already have. Just gonna leave him be. Wow, guys, look. Great angle-headed lizard, adult male. These things are huge. I can't put my arm there because I'm using it to hold on. But I mean, this is definitely one of the most impressive lizards in Thailand without a shadow of a doubt. They're very common along these streams, but you rarely see adult males. We haven't seen a single adult male so far on this trip i mean look at the blues on it look at the colors of that thing such an incredible lizard i'm so glad i can show this on my channel this trip absolutely iconic species only found in southern Tha in thailand's most southern provinces all right second snake of the night is this adult male waggler's pit viper which is another species i've uh, shown on the channel now for the first time and this is honestly as about as big as a male waggler i get you can see the end of the hook there. I can't go and put my hand next to it. Or can I? But uh, yeah, the females get, as you know, absolutely huge. But males, I mean, when you see them together, especially mating, it's, it's quite ridiculous how much smaller the males are. But this is the largest male I've ever seen in my time. Um, you can tell it's a male because the, the spotting on the dorsum is different with those like cream and red sort of small spots instead of the kind of bars that the females have. Um, they're very slender and the color, the sort of texture of green is, is quite different. This one is very, very olive in coloration. And uh, yeah, I was just saying earlier that on these uh, bright moon nights, vipers are some of the species which do often, you know, you can still find, they're super obvious and they don't, not really the kind of species which like coil up in holes. So yeah, nice to see uh, another snake tonight as we were expecting things to be slow, but this is the first one seen on this trip, so. In addition to the species list and an opportunity to see a nice snake. All right, shortly after seeing a vine snake high up in a tree, which I didn't film, I got another Boiga benculoensis of almost the exact same size. And a juvenile just in situ cruising along this dead tree by a stream. I'm just going to leave it in situ here, of course. I just found one of the coolest spiders you get in Southeast Asia. Check it out. This creature is called the uh, dead leaf spider. I don't know the binomial, but it is fairly well known for being, well, some would say incredible. I mean, look at that shape from the back. Does it look like an octopus? I don't know what, but uh, some people will say it looks like uh, their worst nightmare. Can you repeat that, please? Sorry, I'm getting radio communications from the guys. Anyway, that's freaking amazing, especially with the two like eye marks on its back. Oh, it's gone defensive. It's 
gonna go into its like little dead leaf form. Usually I avoid showing spiders because otherwise it just drags out the video to like 30 minutes long each, but I have to show this one. This one is absolutely insane. I guess at why there's a load of bosses standing around. Weirus. Weirus Piss Viper song. This is the third one we found here and by far the most beautiful. Let me turn down the light. You can see it has pink on the side and like a mixture of dark and very pale greens on top. And if you look at the side of the head, you'll see it has the like almost a Canburiensis like black and white marking. I mean, I've seen so many Wirris at this point that I can't even be that like hyped over it. But believe me, this is absolutely incredible. We were really hoping to see this morph because we saw some pictures of ones looking similar from Peninsula Malaysia. But God damn, it's absolutely beautiful. And to boot, it's tiny. Look at that, this is a neonate. So now we've found huge female. What's a male of decent size, which we thought was a juvenile, but no, this is juvenile Wirrus. And it is freaking incredible. This is in situ, by the way. I mean, pretty obviously. Unfortunately, I don't have my camera on me, but I will surely get it and take some pictures of this because this is incredible. Incredible. What a, we've seen three totally different morphs to one another. I will mention though that to find Wirrus, you must also find many, many leech. Can someone squeeze my blood back into my arm, please? Oh, there's one too. Mm. Like, squeeze this boss, don't take it off. Yes, yes, yes. IV. Leech IV. Yes. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Bro, you actually worked! It actually... <laughs> Bro, it actually worked! And it let go. Alright, yeah. Holy crap, guys. We just uh, got done with the Wiratai walked up to re-strategize for the night. Harry and I were debating on what to do, and I looked into the forest, and there's another really rare snake right here. This is the Malacca slug snake, Asphenodipsis malacanus. And to be honest, while these are very rarely seen in Thailand, several of these have been spotted uh, by us and our friends combined in the last two months, which is, uh, crazy considering prior to that this species had only been spotted maybe a handful of times in Thailand at least by herpers but here one is with an incredible white head and that black neck just just chilling up on this log um, this isn't like a high priority target species of ours because we photographed one on the last trip but uh, seeing an incredible rare snake like this is always good and this one I mean the white head oh wait what's going on the white head with those red eyes and it's way more striking than the one we saw before maybe the one we saw before was going into shed or was just a dull individual but this one's freaking incredible wow all right i think you guys have got a very good look at this i don't know if i'll maybe i'll take a couple in hand videos in a sec but otherwise uh i'm gonna leave it here okay after that espeno dipsat we all split off in different directions I just got going by myself and found the first Hagen's Pit Viper of the night. This one, a nice adult male of decent size. Don't worry, that it is decent size. That ant there is just absolutely freaking giant. But yeah, just gonna leave them in situ. Let's keep moving. Just caught another cinnamon frog, this time with a, a darker coloration, but way more speckling. It was like playing dead as they do when you pick them up. This one was just hopping across the path when I saw it. But uh, he may come to life in a moment. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, didn't see any of these and now suddenly two in one night. Here's another frog I haven't shown yet in this uh, series. This is the lesser toad, uh, Ingerophrynus parvus. They make kind of a crickety chatting noise and can gather around pools in quite large numbers occasionally in these forests where they will uh, make a racket. But are not a species you see necessarily every night, especially if you're not looking for frogs like we are. And this one, as opposed to being around the edge of the pool, just sitting on this leaf. Right here we have a very cool species, one of Thailand's largest geckos. Possibly the largest cert in Thailand. Oh, he's gone around the tree. 
He's run away, but that was Peter's bento gecko. It took a while, but uh, just by this paw, got another Hagen eye. This one, uh, you never see big ones around here. Like this is an adult, but uh, nowhere near as some of the ones we saw in Yala province, which are huge. But this one has a nice kind of yellowish coloration, a bit more so than the other ones I've seen, but very faint spotting. Not the prettiest individual, so I'm just going to grab a voucher on my phone and leave it be. Ah, finally, I can show you a uh, river toad which is actually sizable. I mean, look at that thing. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. They're uh, poisonous, of course, so they don't really have much of a predator response other than just to uh, sit there and uh, look like a freaking rock that came to life. Look like something out of a fantasy adventure video game. So yep, very cool. Alright, check this out. Really, really big turtle in this pool here. Is this a flat shell terrapin? I feel like it's the same one I saw in the swamp forest the other day. Um, so probably just like Clemens Enigmatica, but you guys know I know nothing about turtles, so... Alright, I successfully managed to drop my phone in the water while I was uh, repositioning something more comfortable. But uh, let's get this guy out of here. These guys don't really come out of their shell, but when you put them in the water, they go straight out. Just on my way out of the forest now, found this Colotes Emma. Not sure if I've shown one of these in the video. You don't really get them inside the forest, just at the forest edges, like in this fern bank we're at right now. But uh, this may be the last thing I see tonight. Okay, that uh, Colotes wasn't my last find of the night. Just a few meters down the road, I got this nice adult Boiga benculoensis, the first adult benculoensis of the trip. Of course, you saw one of these in the last episode of my Southern Thailand solo trip. But this one has some beautiful splashes of pink on it. Okay, got it to cooperate a bit more. It's funny, but uh, in all of these I've seen, and I see a lot of these, this has to be one of my most spotted snakes on the southern thailand trips i do especially compared to the other guys but yeah in all that time harry has somehow never seen a green morph adult he's never there when we find a green morph adult and of course because we see so many benculoensis we never take them back and show him i only found that out this trip i, I obviously had completely missed that but yeah this one is not as green as some others we've seen in the past but uh Certainly got the adult morphology down to a T. Active late in the night. This is uh, 4 a.m. in the morning and this snake was just crossing the road. Lovely, I'm gonna let him go now. Unfortunately, this is the last episode from our Naratuat trip. We spent eight nights herping and I didn't film on multiple days and didn't film so many other finds on the days where I did film. If you want to read about and see all the other insane snakes that weren't in this video, such as the ones you see on screen now, read our trip report on exploreherpetology.com.